Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate one of the useful tools for software testers, that is measure it. So let's get started. As software testers, we can use this tool to check whether the height and width of the UI element is according to the specified requirements or not. Now, let me practically demonstrate this tool for you. For that, I'll take you to a sample application, say tutorialsninja.com slash demo, where we have this field known as search box field. Let's say we have to test whether this particular search box field has proper height and proper width. For that, I have to install the tool known as measure it. Let me Google search for this tool that is measure hyphen it. When you Google search in the search results, you'll get this measure hyphen it from chrome.google.com. Just click on that. You'll be taken to the Chrome web store of this measure it. Now to add this to your Chrome browser, you have to click on this add to Chrome and select this add extension. In a while, this particular extension will get added to the Chrome browser. You see it's getting added and it has been successfully added with this confirmation. Now close this, now click on this extensions. Now select this pin option so that you can directly access from here. Now let me refresh this page once. And now let me click on this, measure it. Now the entire page got kind of grayed out. In that case, just use your mouse to select this search box field to find out the height and width. Okay. Find out the height of height and width of the search box field. I have to clearly select this area. Now, when I select this area, this measure it tool is giving me the height of the search box field and the width of the search box field. Here, height of the search box field is 42 px, whereas the width of the search box field is 373 px. So this is how this particular measure it tool works. So hope guys you understood how to use this measure tool for checking the height and width of the any UI element. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.